Hi, I'm Francois Gray from the Citizen Cyber Science Center, and we're just wrapping up an, a weekend called the CERN Summer Student Web Fest. Really, a massive hack fest with a whole bunch of really brilliant physics and computer science students, plus uh, some people have come here with graphics and design capabilities, and they're putting together some projects that use the web to communicate the science of particle physics to a much broader pu public. And we're going to see what they've uh, managed to do here in a few minutes, but I'm really uh, impressed already by their enthusiasm. Uh, many of them stayed up most of the night to get their uh, hack done, uh, and by the creativity they're showing. I mean, we're talking about some of them doing you know, browser-based Feynman diagrams. I mean, no one, no one even dreamed of that kind of thing before, I'm sure. So I'd like to thank uh, a number of organizations who made this possible. Uh, the Shuttleworth Foundation, uh, Mozilla Foundation, who've uh, supported this, Peer-to-Peer uh, -peer University, and of course uh, CERN, who made this possible thanks to uh, uh, the, the space they provided and the brilliant students who are putting all this together. Okay, um, so this weekend we've been working on making the standard model more accessible to someone who doesn't know anything about physics, who's read about the Large Hadron Collider or the Higgs boson in the newspapers and just wants to know more. So the main thing we've been doing is working on building a website that explains the standard model from the beginning in an intuitive order to someone who doesn't know any maths or physics and in a way that's really fun and interactive. As part of this, we've also been working on building a Feynman diagram builder because Feynman diagrams are a really great way of understanding the standard model without having to know any maths or any quantum mechanics. You can literally see what's going on and we're working on building a program that will help you draw Feynman diagrams and the program will know which vertices are allowed and if you try to put together a vertex that isn't allowed it will say no you can't do that so you'll learn as you're doing it. And finally we've been looking at creating a better infographic for the standard model because the current representation that's used for the standard model is okay but it doesn't make much sense in terms of the positioning of the boson, sometimes the Higgs boson is missed out entirely. And I think to commemorate the discovery of the Higgs boson, we should have a standard model that really contains all of our physical knowledge. We should be able to produce a periodic table for the standard model, if you like. So we've been working on that, and we're going to present our designs for that this afternoon. Hi, so I'm Jean Baptiste, and we've been coding the main page navigation and all sorts of things and uh, we try to incorporate all the physics well explanations uh, big ones uh, into an appealable appealing actually sorry uh, manner for the general public so let's see how that goes I am Francisco Pinto and I have been working on pretty much the same things as uh, Jean Batista trying to make it uh, very appealing, very clean, very simple and fun to learn some physics. I'm Joan, <laughs> Joan Thurin uh, and I've been writing the physics, uh, oh yeah, physics for this, about weak interaction and defining words and other things. Uh, my name is Karsten Bogart and um, I've uh, kind of been coordinating the different people here and um, I've also uh, also contrib contributed to the physics content, so writing texts and um, um, yeah, contributing ideas to the um, to the uh, to the infographic and making the first draft of it. So uh, it was pretty much a pretty cool two days that we spent here. Really enjoyed it. Hope you like it. Uh, hello, my name is Pratt. Um, I'm a summer student here and we are uh, having a great time at WebFest. WebFest and we are working on standard model and illustration to illustration of uh, standard model so that we can explain easily to the people who does not know anything about physics or other stuff. And I, I'm just doing some kind of drawings, fancy drawings so that they can understand in detail and make it a little easier and interesting for them. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm working on uh, Feynman diagram and uh, on application online to edit Feynman diagram, diagrams with um, vertices and uh, different kind of particles. And the main goal is uh, to explain people 
uh, how physics can be easy and not only a complicated uh, science. So that's all. Uh, so uh, my name is Guillaume. Uh, <laughs> I'm a computer science engineer. Um, uh, this is a really, really interesting uh, weekend because uh, we have learned lots of things. We have done lots of things, and uh, perhaps we'll continue just after this weekend because the library can be useful for lots of people. Like we have already said, this library can uh, generate uh, Feynman graph. Feynman graph, yes, uh, easily. Uh, in the browser with fancy style and animation which made this project really interesting for lots of people. Uh, this weekend was really interesting because we have learned lots of things. I have already did that. And uh, yes, thanks for the pizza. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luca. I work with um, at the FEMA editor and I worked at uh, the graphical part of the, of the app. Well, hello, I'm Emanuele, and in the context of the Feynman Diagram Editor, I've been uh, coding the, the way to store the data about the Feynman Diagrams, and also I've been writing the code to check the consistency of the Feynman Diagrams, the physical consistency. That's all. Hi, uh, so my name is James, and I'm here with my team of cosmic ray experts, and we've been building um, a cheaper cosmic ray detector. Uh, the basis for the project was this little ergo box that the ergo telescope guy sent us from the US. And what we've done is we've hacked it. So instead of using all the electronic circuits inside there, we use a, an Arduino and an Android phone uh, yeah. to do hopefully exactly the same as what they were doing with their box for cheaper. Um, just to show you how it works, uh, we have a muon detector inside here. The muon detector looks like this. Yeah, which is a Geiger counter, effectively. And that's connected to some of their time stamping boards that look like this. This is the board that we're, we're going to replace. What we've done is we've taken the output from this tube and we've hooked it up to an optocoupler which gives us electrical isolation between the tube and our system. And then that goes into an Arduino, uh, which is just a microprocessor. And the script on the Arduino is running here, so you can see that every so often it's being reset by the Android phone. And then when it says tag, that's a muon that's tracked. And we give it a local timestamp. From here, it goes over USB to the Android. We're using the Android debug, Android debug method to send the data. And in there, it gets timestamped with GPS and then we send it over the internet to our, what do we call the thing we send it to? It's dump it to a, a post test server, it just logs any post requests that it gets. Okay, um, and mostly I've been doing the electronics, um, I guess if you want to ask everyone else what they're, they've been working on. Um, well, I've been working mostly on uh, the Arduino boots. Oh, just you should probably say who you are as well. Oh yeah, hi, I'm Hugo. Um, I've mostly been working on um, just receiving an input through the Arduino and then pushing the event to um, the Android phone with a time count from the local time on the Arduino board. Yeah, that's about it. Hey, I'm Zombies. I'm mostly working with the electronics and some part of the helping. I'm uh, Olaf. I've been working on short code snippets that make some of the uh, parts easy. So, so um, I'm Justin. I wrote most of the Android application that's running on this phone here that uh, that receives the events from the Arduino and tags them with the GPS timestamp and uh, then sends them off to the web to be visualized or whatever. So, <laughs> Hello, I'm Daniel. I work for the CCC, for the Citizen Cyber Science Center, and I have been working in creating a new and better uh, LHC dashboard with uh, modern web technologies like HTML5 and SVG. The application shows the luminosity of Atlas and 
CMS and it renders everything on your web browser. We have also recorded a video explaining what it's uh, luminosity, so I'm, one of the other goals of the project is to explain to people what is the LEC dashboard and how you can understand and why are all those measures important for physicists. So we've been uh, customizing this browser quest game all together and a lot of what, uh, what I've been doing has been importing graphics, uh, really awesome graphics made by Andre Pierre and uh, bringing them into Photoshop and um, adding a bit of animation to them and um, then putting them into the game. Well, we all have done a little bit of everything, so we... Um, in, in my case, I changed a little bit the, the interface to show like the life bar now when you get uh, hit by enemies. It's so, it shows like a, a radioactivity bar, so you are getting radioactivity by fighting against the particles. Um, uh, I've gone into the code to see how the game was working, so now I have a pretty good understanding to produce uh, documentation for letting people know um, how it works in the future. So I did also mostly Photoshop, so I redesigned the, the, the home page. And yeah, mostly it's redesigning existing uh, documents, resources to, to make them more feel more like Eastern than the uh, middle age game it was before. So I'm that and a little bit of JavaScript, which is, but mainly Photoshop. Well, actually, I haven't contributed much. <laughs> I've been away for most of the time, but so I tried to help with some ideas when we were starting with the project. Um, I'm the only physicist in here, so I'm doing the script, the storyline, and um, the, what the NPCs will say. For example, what would the glue one would say to you if you talk to it? And um, now I have now I have just acquired Photoshop, so now I'm helping to um, animate characters. Hello, I'm uh, Olivier Batini, and um, I have worked on the Elysee at Home uh, virtual place on the CCC island. Um, Okay, I'm André Pierre Olivier uh, and I help my colleague uh, Olivier uh, on the virtual CCC island to create this uh, LHC at home uh, special place. I also help some other colleagues to create some small creature for their game and uh, if uh, needed, people need some design, uh, I help. Hi, I'm Ben Siegel. I've been helping to organize this WebFest day and among other things I've been asked to help to judge the results of the projects which we will be doing in a couple of hours. Um, uh, hi, I'm Daniel Werner, and so I've been helping to organize this event a little bit and I've basically floated around in different groups to see what they're working on and just help them wherever I can. And I've kept the uh, Facebook and Twitter accounts updated. Hi, I'm Dave Galbraith and uh, I've been helping people here and working particularly on trying to do a standard infographic for the standard model and uh, helping judge the event as well.